please press the subscribe button, tap on the bell icon and never miss an update from Passionate Geeks. Hey, what's happening guys PG is here today I'm going to show you how you can change the shape of your dashboard tiles in the last video I will show you how to remove the dashboard categories from your settings or apk so when you remove the settings category divider from your settings now we are able to change the shape of the tiles that are shown in our the settings dashboard but if you do not remove the dashboard categories then you will not able to do do this so make sure you remove your dashboard categories if you haven't watched the video go check my last video that is remove the dashboard categories from your uh, settings when you done with that then you can move here here i'm going to show you how to remove or the sorry how to change the shape of your dashboard category or how to change the settings design layout so this is a very easy and simple steps. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So here we are guys, I already decompiled my settings for APK. So this is the folders I get after the decompilation. So after the decompiling, you have to open the drawable folder in the resource. So here drawable you have to add a new drawable you can name it with uh, any name you want but you need to create a new drawable here or to add a new xml here you need to open any xml file with no plus 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 and go to the file new here new first you have saved the file with the name that you want of your drawable like i'm going to rename it as uh, round cut tile so I'm going to write round cut tile here now click on save type should be xml and click on the save now you have uh, the xml here round cut next open the layout folder and open the dashboard tile Next, you have to open the uh, dimensions.xml and the color colors. So when you open all the four XMLs in your Notepad plus plus, now we have to add some codes. The code file I already added in the links are in the description. Go down from the description link when where you found the code file. So this is the code for the draw. I'll just copy the code and paste it here and click on the save. Now move to the dashboard tile. Here you have to find the third layout. I mean second layout, sorry. But if you are using the code file, then clear, clear, clear the screen and just copy the code of the layout and paste it here. But if you don't want the code, then do what I do. First add the second linear layout here, add the background that we already made in the drawable, just add background here the drawable round cut tile. Next we have to add a layout. Over here. You have to add a layout bottom margin. So our tile should have a some some sort of margin. If you do not add this line, then your tiles may get overlapped. So I'm not going to complete the whole code. I'm just showing you the overview of the code because code I already write in my in the zip. You will find. In the description link I'm just showing you the overview of the code how the code works so this is the relative layout here you have to add the margin left and the margin end or start so motive of this this is a 
when we get the round cut shape layout of the child then the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or the text are moving towards the left to make it in the center then you have to add this so your text will be placed you have to add an android background so divider should be the same color as your the dashboard color so i'm going to use the white you can use any color what you ever want instead of writing the hex code you have to add the color file here when you're done with here next move to the dimension again open the code I also added the dimensions file here. So here you have to just paste the dimension file that you could get from the code. Just copy the and paste it here. Next you have to open the colors.xml. Again you will find the color code from the code file just copy and paste so when you all done the steps just save all the xml files and try to recompile if you get any error then tell your error in the description link If you found any error just comment below so I may be able to help you. So this is it guys. Thanks for watching. See you next week.